friend named Viet, and we don't really like him. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> His birthday's coming up, and we're gonna buy him a present anyways. What are we thinking of getting him? Honestly, I wanna buy him some charcoal. Why charcoal? One time, someone asked him to go buy charcoal, but he didn't want to go buy it because he didn't want to lose his parking spot. Oh my god. So guess what he gets for his birthday? Charcoal. Oh my god, it's Vit. This thing's tight. It's a low maintenance dog. Yeah. That's a Vit hat. It's totally. That's his middle name. <laughs> Which one do you think Vit would look better in? <laughs> I'm trying to decide. I think his chest will fit the left one better. Definitely like a movie enthusiast. Maybe we get a Vit one of his uh, self-portraits. Aye, it's like he's looking in a mirror. <laughs> Give him this one, birthday princess. Jeff. No, no, help me. Help me, Jeff. Jeff. Oh my God. Go buy it. Dude, <laughs> I gotta get this. It's the legend. All right guys, so we've been shopping for Vitz present all afternoon and we kind of needed a snack, so we decided to stop by Cello Creamery here in Roland Heights. So Cello is known for all of their specialty desserts. They have taiyaki, the rolled ice cream, Italian ice, gelato, custard. They have a lot of different flavors here, ranging from cookie butter, black sesame, Earl Grey lavender, cinnamon toast crunch. I mean, they have it all. So we're just gonna go inside, try a couple of their flavors, see what kind of desserts they have for us, and we'll get right back to you guys, okay? So we got our ice cream and it's melting so we want to eat it fast and we want to tell you guys how it is. I got this taiyaki thing which is like a fish cone, some cinnamon toast crunch gelato, a little bit of mochi skewer on the top. There's actually Nutella inside of Wait. the body of the fish. <laughs> oh really? Okay, just go ahead and try that first. Oh, go ahead. What ice cream was that? Cinnamon toast crunch. The ice cream was good, I tasted it before I had it, but I think the cone is what makes this thing really good. I got the coffee meets donut rolled ice cream. They put a donut on top of mine, and it has coffee ice cream. You see these rolls? These are the rolls, right? Oh, I got it, here we go. Alright, really coffee. Like, I really good. The ice cream is like, when you eat cinnamon toast crunch, and all you have left is that milk and a few pieces of the cinnamon toast crunch, and they made that into an ice cream. Yep. So it's like if you eat your cereal and then you just leave your bowl in the freezer. Kind yep. of. I see you, cello. You want quick? Yeah. So I'm gonna take a hit of this mochi. Like that. Uh huh. Mmm. That's really coffee, right? It might be a little bit too much caffeine for me. Dude, your thing is juicing. Look at this. Time to go for the cone part. Oh, that looks so good. There's a ton there. This is good, but I like yours better. You wanna feel this? So I'm not much of a sweets guy, but I, I mean, I like the uh, concept of having a pastry with the ice cream. I think I can do that. I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick. <laughs> <laughs> So we just finished our snack at Cello, and it was delicious to say the least. Honestly, they're really nice in there, and I just like the different ways they're doing dessert. My first experience at one of these places was really, really good. I must say that my favorite thing that we had, though, was the cookie butter ice cream that our camera guy ate. <laughs> the taiyaki was really good. I really like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. The cookie butter flavor is just something else. If you guys come here, you have to try that one, in my opinion. What I did like, like Glenn mentioned, was that they have a wide range of desserts for you guys. Like they have Italian ice, gelato, and custard, and Thai rolled ice cream. So any dessert that you're feeling for, they have it here. Wasn't a big fan of the coffee flavor. It was a little bit too strong for me, but everything else I tried, I really liked. Now, as you guys know through all our videos, I don't really like sweets as much. If I were to come and get dessert, I definitely would have this place in mind. I just think that it's, it's, a, it's a lot of work to roll up the ice cream, you know? When I feel like I would enjoy it just as much if they just scooped it. Boom. 
one too. Not it's aesthetically pleasing, but I think just as delicious. Also, when I was watching them, I'm like, these people are like the hibachi chefs of ice cream. Definitely giving giving this place a 10 out of 10. Would try again. Not every day though, because I'm not really into desserts or diabetes. But if I'm in the mood for something sweet, I might come to Cello. So we just want to thank you guys for coming and watching our video again today. We hope that you enjoyed it. So if you guys are in the area, come check out Cello Creamery. We have a lot of good stuff here. If you guys would like to continue watching our videos, please subscribe. And if you already do, hit the bell button down below so you get all the notifications. Comment down below if you've been to Cello, and if you have been to Cello, tell us what your favorite flavor is. Or if you can think of any other ice cream places that might be better than Cello. But thank you guys so much, and we'll see you guys next time on Hype. Oh.